I think about Nicaragua every day. Um, not just because it's my blood, but it's just something very special about this place. Very special about the people. Their smiles are amazing, their gratitude obviously, their love for God. This is where inspiration lives, is amongst the poor. Yeah, this is real life right here. Angel and Rosa, they've been married for 50 years. When we first saw them, one of my daughters who can understand Spanish, she heard Rosa say, we don't mean anything. They come, they look, and they do nothing. For us to hear that and just go, no, that's not gonna be us. We're not gonna speak hope, we're gonna deliver hope. This is the first time in over 50 years of marriage that this couple has been married, that they are no longer in extreme poverty. For the first time in her life, she owns a real home. Okay, so for phase two that uh, you have all contributed to, the houses are already paid for, the dump truck is behind us, filled with the uh, materials. You're going to lay the foundation for the new village. It's. In a lot of ways, it's a, it's a real answer to prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time. We thank you so much for this, this new foundation that you're building here in Nicaragua. We thank you for the people that you're bringing together. We thank you for the love that you're showing through us. We thank you for the hearts of these people, Lord. Please bless the children, that children be able to learn and be able to play and be <clears throat> able to be children. Thank you, Father Lord, for just allowing us and using us, Lord, to lay the foundation of greatness in this community, in this area, in this country, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus.